In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a calculator in Excel. I'll specifically show you how to create a money counting calculator using Excel. Before we dive in, let me show you what we will be getting at the end of this tutorial. So in here, I have the various currencies that we spend in Ghana here in notes as well as in coins. Now if I have 5 pieces of 200 Ghana cities and I enter 5 in here, hit enter, the total will be calculated and then I'll get the overall total down here. Next I'll go to 10 Ghana cities, let's say I have 2 pieces of that, I enter into and I hit enter, I'll get the amount which is 20 Ghana cities and it will give me the overall total of 1020 Ghana cities. I also get the same result if I come to the coins and enter let's say 10 pieces of 50 pesos hit enter to give me 5 Ghana cities and it will be added to the overall total. So this is how this simple calculator will work for you if you end up creating one for yourself. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's create our calculator. Having opened Excel, in the first cell, I enter calculator, hit enter. In the next cell, that is cell A2, I enter denomination. I go to the next cell. I press in tab, it will take me to cell B2, I enter quantity, I will just abbreviate it and I press tab, amount, hit enter. In the next cell, that is cell A3, I enter notes, in capital letters, hit enter. In the next couple of cells, I'm going to enter the various currencies. That is the currencies we have in Ghana here. So I'll start with 200 Ghana cities down to 1 Ghana city. Alright, I've entered the various currencies in notes. I'll give a breathing space and I'll go ahead and enter coins. Hit enter. And then I'll enter the various currencies we have in coins. Okay, I've entered the various currencies we have in coins. I'll give a breathing space and in here I enter totals. I press tab, then I enter Ghana cities. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and format my cells. So in here I highlight from cell A1 up to cell C1. Then I go ahead and click on merge and center. Denomination, I want everything to appear well, so I just drag and open like this. Or better still, I can point in between column A and column B. I'll get these two headed arrows with a vertical bar and I double click. I'll highlight the whole of this and I make them bold. I can increase the size of the heading to 14. Next, I match these three cells. Match and center, but I don't want it to be centered. So I click on align left and I bold it up. Next, I go ahead and make this align left, bold. Finally, I'll go ahead and bold the whole of this. Awesome. Next, I'll apply shading. So, totals and Ghana cities. I'll highlight it. Then I'll go to fill. And I choose this blue. In here, I want to make it red. Perfect. I'll highlight this and I'll fill it with blue. The next thing I'm going to do is highlight the whole of this and I'll apply borders to it so that the whole of the cells will stand out. So I can right click on it, go to format cells, and I click on border. I'll choose outline and inside, then I click on OK. Next, I click on notes and I'll fill it with yellow i do the same thing in here perfect now my calculator can stand out clearly the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and perform some calculations so for me to get the amount i need to multiply this particular cell by 200 ghana cities so what i'm going to do is click on this cell 
the first thing I'm going to do is enter the equal sign to tell Excel that I'm looking for an answer. So next I click on this cell and it will insert the name of the cell which is B4. Then I get my multiplication sign and then 200. I hit enter and the answer will be provided. Take note, we are seeing zero because there's nothing in here. So we go ahead and do the same thing in here. So first of all, equal sign and I click on this cell multiply by 100 take note that is the value in here we are not clicking on this particular cell because we have this Ghana city sign in here so if you click on this you won't get the right answer so you just have to enter the value as you want it I hit enter and I go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of them okay I've performed the calculations for all this and the first two currencies and the coins now I need to explain something small for the rest of the currency that is the first ways so first of all I get my equal sign then I click on this cell multiply by take note 50 percent you need to enter 0.5 in order to get the right answer so 50 percent is the same as 0.5 so I hit enter I do the same thing to 20 percent so equal sign click in here multiply by 0.2 hit enter then i go ahead and do the same thing for 10 persuades and 5 persuades all right i've performed all the calculations the next thing i'm going to do is get the overall total in here so i click then i enter equal sign and i'm going to use sum so i enter sum open brackets then I click on the first cell right here, colon. After typing the colon, you see that defaultly another cell will appear. I don't need that. I remove it. And I'll come in here and click on the last cell. That is where I have the last currency. So I click here and it will highlight the entire column where I want to perform the calculation on. That is the summation. I close the brackets and I hit enter. The next thing I'm going to do is format the whole of these cells to accept currency. You see that everything is zero. Now if I enter a value here, maybe five, which means I have five of 200 Ghana cities. The answer will be 1000 by two appear as currency. I need to see 0 0.00 to indicate that I'm dealing with money. So what I'm going to do is I highlight the whole of this. Then I go over to number. I choose accounting you can also choose currency if you want but I don't want to use currency I want to have it in such a way that if there's no value in here I should see dash instead of seeing zero I don't need the currency symbol so I drop down the arrow and choose none take note the decimal places I want to keep it at two you can keep it at three four if you want you can also keep it at one but I want to make it two and I go ahead and click on OK so you see that if I don't have any value, the cells will be dashed instead of zero. I do the same thing in here. I click on the small arrow beside number, accounting, change the symbol to none, then click on OK. Perfect. So now if I come to my calculator and enter whatever value I want, let's say I have three pieces of 100 Ghana cities, I will enter it in here. Then I hit enter. The amount will be 300 Ghana cities, which means 100 Ghana cities multiplied by 3, which is 300 Ghana cities. And the entire total will be added here. Perfect. So let's assume I have 5 of 2 Ghana cities. I enter 5 in here, hit enter, and the total will be 10. And it will be added to the 1300 in here to make 1310 as the total. Let me enter some quantities for some persuades. So I will use 50 persuades. Let's say I have 10 of them. I hit enter and it will be 5 Ghana cities and it will be added to the entire total I have previously, which will be 1315 Ghana cities. So that's it, guys, on how to create a calculator in Excel. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos.
keep watching and i will see you in the next one